All right, I think this is chest number five. Ah! No way. The people have spoken. That is the like ratio for my last video. I just want to say thank you guys so much. You have motivated me to play this tournament in its entirety. It seems like you guys really want to watch this, so let's fucking do it. So last episode, we did some PKing. Uh, I realized that having one agility was absolutely horrible. So I decided to get 50 agility real quick. Today, we're going to get into the melee grind. I'm going to beef up my account. I want to be 100 combat as soon as possible. Get myself really tanky. Let's just get into the content. So before I can start the melee grind, I wanted to make a little bit of money so that I can afford a de-skim. And uh, I wasted a bit of time PKing on the first day. So these are our stats starting day two. We're not too bad. Uh, we're obviously not super far ahead either. But 80 range is pretty beefy at this point. So three emblems and some other decent loot. So now I can get a looting bag and a dragon scimitar and I can start training melee. All right, guys. So <laughs> I'm pretty far behind at this point. I slept way too long, but I decided to risk it and uh, train at rock crabs and uh, we just got 40 attack so now I can wield my rune skim this is the only way I'm gonna catch up rock crabs are actually really good XP I know I'm in multi but you got to realize that no single PKers are gonna come in the multi to get a kill and if a clan hits us I lose a rune skim it's worth the risk to get good XP rates so I'm gonna train up until I can go to the warriors guild we got to get our defender as soon as possible. No sign of any PKers. We just hit 60 attack. This is really good XP. Um, I'm going to go get the D skim and uh, risk my D skim here. I, I don't care. You know, I'm pretty confident nobody is going to come here. Um, and if they do, there's a lot of other people to be meat shields for me. So let's go get that D skim. And there we go. Base 65 melee stats. We are starting to get some beef to us. Almost 85 combat. All right, I'm kind of scared. Nobody. I heard the Warriors Guild in this area is infested with PKers. It's th like the beginning of day two and people are already PKing with Morgan's Javelins. Bunch of people that get fed by their clans. Um, unfortunately, you know, <laughs> I don't get fed anything. <laughs> so uh, let's hope we don't die here. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie. I've never done a defender grind on a tournament. Only on the seasonal, so... You know, oh shit, I need to get my looting bag actually for this uh, grind. So let's hope we can get some defender luck and uh, yeah. So on dead man mode, the defender drop rate is 1 in 25. I got the first two within 10 kills. The second one took me 110 kills. Oh my god, that was bad. This dude in the clan chat has a stat warhammer, bro. <laughs> I was waiting for that. That's the freest D skim I've ever seen. Like, he's getting fed for sure. I, I just want to get fed. I want that to be me. Beautiful. Yes. Rune Defender. Now we can start making some money on the Cyclopses down below. Those ones drop some decent stuff. Also have a chance at a tier 5 emblem. That looks so sick. We got the Rune Defender. My luck is just... It's not horrible, but it's definitely not good. My Defender luck has been uh, a grind. Um, but our stats are looking pretty decent. So the nice thing about the defender grind is the XP here is actually really decent. We're about to hit base 75s. There we go. Nice. So uh, 75 melee stats and 93 combat. Wow. I can do Neve Slayer very soon once I get my dragon defender. I'm pretty excited. Like we're actually turning into a decent account. It's gonna feel really good when I see that defender. Yes, yes, under 30 kills. I think that was like 28 kills down here only and we get the dragon defender. Finally some good luck <laughs> instead of just average luck. That is awesome. I think for the dragon defender, it's one in 50 on dead man mode. <laughs> Cattail says, any luck? Yeah, bud, we just got the dragon defender. I'm gonna finish up this strength level down here and then I think it's time to do some Slayer. I have a pretty weird plan for Slayer, so I think it'll be interesting. I don't think many other people are gonna do this. This is where I need some luck. Please, Neve. Please. Beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful first task. That's really good XP. It's not going to be too much loot, but yeah, the XP is going to be nice. So I guess I can talk about my, uh, my Slayer plans now. Basically, I'm going to grind to 72 Slayer. Now, 72 Slayer unlocks Wyverns. And uh, I think that Wyverns would be decent in Deadman mode. I got a chance at Dragon Plate Legs, a lot of Alkables, Runes, um, just overall some decent stuff. We got 66 Slayer, so uh, we're getting there, but obviously it's going to be a bit of a grind. But in the meantime, we're going to get a lot of combat levels doing this. I just hope we don't die, but if I do die, I really only lose my Dragon Scimitar and like maybe 50k. I'm pretty poor right now, so hoping for some Rune Full Helm off these Greater Demons, but either way, we'll see what happens. I'm resetting my task. I got fucking cow fights, then iron dragons, then steel dragons. The worst luck possible. So uh, I'm really hoping that now I can get something decent. All right, Neve, this isn't funny anymore. Stop fucking me around. Uh, oh, thank God. That is a strange drop. Wrath runes and soul runes. Damn, that might be decent. People are gonna buy those soul runes. Yes! I couldn't ask for a better task. Huge milestone, 70 Slayer, two more, and then I'm gonna test out Wyverns. It could be good, it could just be terrible, and I might just go for Gargoyles at 75, but we're gonna test it either way. And uh, yeah, let's keep this grind up. We also just hit 83 strength, so the stats are getting up there, boys. They really are. I'm kind of excited right now. I haven't ever been motivated to do Slayer in Deadman mode, but like, this is not that bad. I mean, I'm also practicing my uh, one tick flicking. So like, right now I'm trying not to lose prayer points, but I'm still like using ultimate strength and stuff. But I'm learning. Damn, I don't want to do that task. But we did hit 72 Slayer, so I can go do Wyverns. I have to do the Elemental Workshop quest, but that should take me like 10 minutes. I have to get 20 mining, smithing, and crafting, which is going to be a little annoying. I mean, it's not going to take me long, but I hope no one with Barrage comes out here. I doubt anyone's going to be PKing here at this stage in the game. Probably won't even see anyone, but let's get these requirements. Get our mirror shield or whatever, it's elemental shield. And then uh, let's test this Wyvern theory. Even in the Dead Man Mode tournament, Slayer Music 1 saves the day. And uh, that should be it. Now we have our elemental shield to protect us against the wyverns. I'm in some pretty welfare gear, but we'll probably upgrade the gear if I actually get some drops. I legit haven't killed these things since like 2015. I'm pretty poor. I can't even afford range potions. That's how bad it is. So I'm really hoping for a drop. Well, I actually need a drop at this point. Um, but yeah. This is our first Wyvern kill. Let's see what we get. And we get Uncut Ruby. I mean, those will sell, but definitely uh, nothing good. Oh my god! Third kill! Third fucking kill! No way! Yes! That is what I needed! Yes! That is so lucky! That's a one in- Hold on, let me look at the fucking drop rate. Oh my god. One- in 512. I don't even think it's buffed on dead man mode. Is that real? Is that that's so lucky if that's right. My fifth kill. Oh my god, what is this? Dude. Oh my god, what a fucking dude. Hold on, let me put the rune light tracker so you guys don't think this is bullshit. Holy shit. If it's really 1 in 512, I am the luckiest motherfucker alive. It's possible that they halved it for dead man mode, but even so, that's insane. That is insane. This just turned my whole tournament around. I can afford to do barrows now. I can afford barrows now. That is the goal of this fucking grind. And we just got it in five kills. All right, boys, we are geared up for barrows let's see if this luck can continue i have one of the dragon plate legs in the deposit box and uh i got the other one i sold it for this gear like i am a real dead man mode player now 
Um, I don't think there's going to be too many PKers here at this point in the game, but I'm going to play it safe. This is going to be decent magic XP, and uh, I need magic levels so people will splash on me, because with 50 mage, they're going to hit every single barrage. Chest number one. Not bad. That's a good amount of runes. Uh, I'm happy with that, actually. Chest number two. Uh, yeah, whatever. Number three. You... Okay. Um, okay. Alright, I think this is chest number five. Ah! No way. Oh my. Ah! No fucking way. That's like the second best item I can get. Oh my god. That just made my tournament right there. Holy shit. Aram's robe skirt. I think the only thing that would have been better than that is a Carol's top. Or Aram's top would have been better too, but... The third best item I could have got on kill count 5. So I checked the analytics for my last video and like 50% of the people that watched it weren't subscribed. So make sure you subscribe if you want to watch the rest of uh, my tournament experiences. Uh, that Aram's robe skirt went straight into my deposit box. I'm willing to sell it, um, but not yet. Uh, I still have a lot of money left over. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm just splashing right now while I was editing this video. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of my luck, because this is the luckiest I've ever been in dead man mode. So I'm pretty excited. I'm really motivated. Uh, these are the stats we are ending this video was like day two and half of day three. So I still got a lot of day three left and uh, we're sitting at these stats. I think this is the furthest I've ever been at this point in a dead man mode tournament. We're at 99 combat. So one more level um, and we're going to be 100 combat, which is going to be sick. We're going to look pretty scary. I haven't decided whether I'm going to sell the Aram skirt or I'm going to just leave it in the deposit box and save it for the final. I might need to sell it. I might not need to. We'll see in the next episode. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm having so much fun in this tournament. I started off the tournament pretty unmotivated, but now I'm literally addicted. I'm having so much fun and uh, yeah, it's all thanks to you guys. So, so I'll see you in the next video. Probably not tomorrow, but uh, Wednesday I'll probably have another video out.